Hello everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at the Simplex 4010 Fire Alarm Control Panel. First produced in 1998, the 4010 was an addressable fire alarm panel designed for smaller facilities. The base system contains a single SLC loop for up to 250 addressable devices, along with four signal circuits, two auxiliary relays, and a serial port. The 4010 was the first panel to use the IDNet protocol, and also features keypad programming and built-in strobe synchronization. It also inherits many advanced features seen in larger simplex panels, including networking, custom equations, and agent release. So let's jump right into this. For this demonstration, the 4010 is configured for both general fire alarm and agent release. On the fire alarm side, we have a 4099 NetOS 1 pole station, and the signals include a 4903-9419 horn strobe and a 4903-9252 horn strobe. Both strobes are set to smart sync, and the horns will sound in temporal coding. On the agent release side, we have a 4098-9710 smoke detector and a 4098-9757 smoke detector. The signals include a Federal Signal 4050D horn with a valve strobe and a Federal Signal valves halon strobe. In addition to the panel, there's also a 4606-9101 LCD annunciator on the system. Let's begin with the fire alarm portion of this demo. Now let's demonstrate the agent release portion of the system. When one smoke detector activates, the 4050D warning signal will sound in slow march time. Once the second detector activates, the warning signal will sound in fast march time and a 10 second delay begins. Once the countdown reaches zero, the warning signal sounds in continuous and the valve strobe will flash to indicate a discharge. So here we go. <laughs> And that concludes the agent release demonstration. Now let's take a look at the layout of the 4010. At the center of the 4010 panel is the SFIO board. The main LCD display and keypad is very similar to that of the 4005, with the addition of three programmable LEDs. Below this are terminals for the batteries, two programmable relays, and auxiliary power. There's also two harness slots for an expansion power supply, and a service port for PC programming. At the top of the SFIO is the SLC loop, four signal circuits, and the N2 serial loop. The N2 serial port connects to external peripherals such as the 4606-9101 enunciator, graphical enunciators, and 24 I.O. boards. A variety of optional components can be installed in the 4010 cabinet. To the left of the SFIO board are two expansion slots. These slots can contain an RS-232 interface and either a 4120 network card or a DACT card. 
To the right of the SFIO board are slots for additional chassis mounted components, such as an expansion power supply, city connect module, relay module, battery meter, and a power distribution block. There's also Class A modules and a relay kit that are add-ons to existing signal circuits and relays on the SFIO board. Programming on the 4010 can be done on the keypad or with the PC software. The keypad interface is similar to that of the 4005, with various options to configure devices, signals, relays, custom functions, and other points. The panel has an auto-program feature to quickly set up a new system, edit an existing configuration, or restore the panel to factory settings. The 4010 can be programmed to control external peripherals such as the 4009 IDNet NAC extender and 4009 Truler adjustable controller through IDNet. Certain cards on the system, such as the DACT and network cards, are only programmable with the PC software. And that's it. The 4010 was an optimal compromise between the large and advanced 4020, but with a smaller cabinet size like the 4008. It provides addressable firelink projection in a small package, while also being quick and convenient to program. The 4010 would be phased out around 2014 with the release of the 4007 ES. The 4010 is the best choice for anyone interested in an addressable simplex panel. It does not require special software to program, and its small footprint makes it easier to store and install. Along with the 4005, it's one of the most advanced simplex panels that are easily accessible to enthusiasts. If you have any questions or comments on the 4010, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day!